Hi everyone, welcome back. So if you want to see how I go from this, which ain't so cute, to this, then obviously watch and see how I come up with this look. So let's get started. So first things first, you got to get some music going on. And now we're going to go ahead and get started with some moisturizer. I'm going to go in with this Good Molecules moisturizer. I've been using this one recently and I really do enjoy it. It doesn't, uh, it's not too oily or anything like that. It just really moisturizes my skin. So I'm going to go in with this Maybelline foundation. Um, this was my first time using it and I really, really enjoyed it. Very easy to blend and super buildable. And I just use this beauty blender just to blend it all out with. Now I'm going to go in with some Fit Me Concealer. Um, I'll leave the shade down below, but again, this is a really good drugstore product as well. I always tend to go back and forth with um, the Tarte Shape Up and then that one as well. All right, now we're going to contour. Um, I'm going to leave a couple of other drugstore shades down below that I usually do use, but I use the RCMA palette for this. It was just really um, easy for me to grab. That's why I kind of picked up this color. So we're just going to blend it out with this Duo Fiber Brush. Again, you can totally skip this step. It's totally optional. I just felt like contouring today and adding a little bit more of a glam look with the face. So yeah, I'm going to use a beauty blender and then I use this brush and I'll go back and forth just to really blend it into my skin and doing this step really helps keep the face nice and sculpted. So I go back and forth like I said and yeah, and then I'm going to go in on my nose and use this little brush just to go ahead and um, fix the contour or blend out the contour. And now I'm going to go in with this Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I love this powder. I always rave about how amazing it is. And it's so lightweight and it always just makes your skin look like it's um, picture perfect. And I'm going to go in with some Physicians Formula Bronzer. We're going to bronze up the skin and kind of set that contour that we initially added. And yes, yeah, this is another one of my favorites from the drugstore as well. Um, I really do enjoy that bronzer. And we're just going to apply a little bit on the nose. That way it looks nice and blended. And now I'm going to go in with some blush. Um, this one's from MAC. I love this one a lot too. It just gives you the right amount of blush um, to your cheeks. So it's, really, it's a really nice color. And now we're just going to clean up underneath that bronzer. And we're going to do some brows. So I just um, I brush them up and then I go in with the, um, the pencil. And yeah, I'll just shape them as I see fit. And that's pretty much it. All right, now that my brows are set, we're gonna go in with some bronzer. I'm gonna use the same one I used on my face, the Physicians Formula one. We're gonna just apply that inner crease just to add a little bit of dimension and a little bit of color up in there. And for lashes, I'm just gonna go in with some NYX mascara and then I go back and forth with this L'Oreal one or I think it's Maybelline, I forget, but I'll leave it down below. So I'll use those two and then I'm gonna go in with some lip liner. I believe this is Oak by MAC I th or Strip Down, I forget, but like I said, I'll leave it down below. We're just gonna line our lips and apply some lipstick and then I go in with a matte um, liquid lipstick and that pretty much completes the makeup. And for hair, we're just going to straighten it all out, um, nothing too crazy, but I leave those clips in just so you guys can see how we do it. And yeah, that pretty much completes my look. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick get ready with me, and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye.